Welcome to the new track in Midland, Michigan, known as the Dow Diamond. This track has a very unique shape with an arced backstretch and a quad oval shaped front stretch with very low bank turns. Now we're going to check out your drivers to watch for today at this unknown racetrack. Who will do good here at the Dow Diamond? Justin Allgaier, he was last week's winner, looking to have a good, strong run today to keep his points momentum up. Eric Jones, he's been moving up in the points ever so slightly each and every week. He's climbing into that top 10 here soon. Ty Dillon in a must-win situation basically like every week. And then Kyle Larson has a strong run last week, finishing top 5. He starts 4th today. Drivers, start your engines! Cars fire up here, and Kyle Busch and Eric Jones will lead them to the field. Now we're going to check out your starting lineup. We have row one, Kyle Busch and Eric Jones. In row two today, we have Ryan Blaney and Kyle Larson. Row three, Alex Bowman and Justin Allgaier. Daniel Suarez and Regan Smith are found in row four. And in row five, we have Matt Tift and Ty Dillon. Both drivers need good runs today. Bubba Wallace and Greg Galding teammates in row six. Then Daniel Hammock and Ryan Reed in row seven. Row eight, we have Brennan Gaughan and William Byron, last week's runner-up. Row nine... Sam Hornish Jr. and Brandon Jones. Row 10, Ryan Sieg and Elliot Sadler. Row 11, Cole Custer and Dakota Armstrong. And in row 12, Brennan Poole and John West Townley. Excitement is in the air. Green flag is out. It's Kyle Busch taking the lead into turn one. This ought to be interesting watching all the cars going to turn one. Off of turn two, they are clear and heading into the short turn three and four. Looks like it's the Kyle and Kyle show up front. Kyle Larson hunting down Kyle Busch. Great start of the race for Kyle Larson. He's going to look to the inside. He gets into him. Around and hard into the wall goes Kyle Busch. That looks like it hurt really bad for Kyle Busch. Oh my goodness. Kyle Larson looks below him and spins him out. Plain and simple there. Oh my goodness. Kyle Busch cannot be too happy about that one with Kyle Larson. Now we got a big restart here on lap three. It's Kyle Larson and Eric Jones up front. Green flag is back in the air after two laps of action here. We are green on lap three. Eric Jones gets a good start. So does Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney and Kyle Larson side by side for race lead. Here comes Alex Bowman looking below Ryan Blaney. Can Alex Bowman get to the lead now? He's just going for the lead on Kyle Larson. Three wide heading into turn one. Larson drives it in hard. He keeps the lead. Oh, we got a crash. It's Ryan Reed. Great Golding. Hornish, Matt Tift, Hemrick. It looks like Byron involved as well. A huge crash in turn one and two. Looks as Sam Hornish Jr. spins out Ryan Reed. Ryan Reed spins into Gray Galding. It's just a slow turn. So they're on the brakes. Looks like William Byron is involved in the crash as well. Matt Tift, Daniel Hemrick involved. Gray Galding. Oh my goodness. Ryan Reed and Sam Hornish Jr. They were the initial starters of this crash. Matt Tift's going around here. And William Byron just gets into him. Heartbreaking for that camp. They were on a good, strong running last couple weeks. Now we're going to restart with three laps remaining. It's going to be Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney up front. Green flag is back out in the air. Oh, Ryan Blaney gets a great start. Kyle Larson spins his tires. Here comes Alex Bowman going into second place now. Ryan Blaney takes over the lead. Here comes Darrell Wallace having a good, strong run down the back stretch. But Ryan Blaney continues to lead here. Kyle Larson lurking in third behind Alex Bowman. He's going to go for that second place position now. Can he catch Ryan Blaney with one lap remaining? White flag is in the air. Ryan Blaney leads. Alex Bowman gets a strong run. He's going to drive it in. Oh, they make contact. They get loose. No one wrecks. Green flag is still in the air. Ryan Blaney has the lead. But here comes Darrell Wallace out of nowhere. Can he get him off a of turn four? No, he cannot. Ryan Blaney wins his second race of the year at the Dow Diamond. What an entertaining race there for the last couple laps. And Ryan Blaney captures win number two in the Aflac Xfinity Series. Celebration is on for Ryan Blaney. Well-deserved win. He had a really strong car all night long when Kyle Busch went out of the race. Watch this Alex Bowman. Oh, great job of everyone to save it there. You can tell Bowman didn't want to do that. He got on the brakes, didn't spin Ryan Blaney out. Great racing, hard racing. And Ryan Blaney does more burnouts on the front stretch. What a burnout by Ryan Blaney. 
So Ryan Blaney moves right back in the championship hunt with his second win of the year. And we're going to check out your point standings. Where does he round up here after this win? He's second place behind Daryl Wallace. Daryl Wallace still had a good points day, finishing second here. And Daniel Suarez, Enrique Smith, and Brandon Jones round up the top five. Elliot Sadler, Eric Jones in the top ten now with Ryan Reed in eighth. Ninth is Gray Galding. Tenth, Alex Bowman. Eleventh is Brendan Gaughan. Twelfth is Justin Allgaier. William Byron, 13th. Matt Tiff, 14th. Kyle Larson and Sam Hornets Jr. round up the top 16. Kyle Busch drops to 17th in points today. Ty Dillon with a strong run goes up from 23rd to 20th. And Ryan Sieg is 19th in points after being the run-up last week. Doesn't have a good run this week. So first place is Ryan Blaney once again. Second time this year. Second was Darrell Wallace. Good points run for him today. Third place was Eric Jones. And then fourth we have Alex Bowman coming oh so close to that first win. And then fifth was Kyle Larson. Sixth place today was Daniel Suarez. Still having good runs here in the Athletic Xfinity Series. Seventh was Regan Smith. And eighth was Brendan Gaughan. Ninth place was Justin Allgaier. And then tenth was Brandon Jones. So the first night race of the year took place at a new racetrack here in Midland, Michigan. Midland is actually the home to Dow Corporation. And I thought that would be fitting to call it the Dow Diamond since there is a baseball park also called the Dow Diamond, and make this track into the shape, sort of a diamond, sort of not, but from the top, it looks like a diamond because of the infield. It's shaped like a diamond. That's why it's called the Dow Diamond. So I really like this track. I enjoy it. Hopefully it can be seen in Athletic Cup Series Season 8. I enjoyed it a lot. Maybe another night race as we continue through the finishing results. Just had to explain that a little bit just for the fans that don't know too much about Dow Corporation. And then finishing last today was Kyle Busch. Right there is the diamond you can see in the middle. So next race is the Indianapolis Road Course. This is JT24, JM26, signing out. We'll see you next time.